everyone, welcome back to the video. In today's video, no, no, you know what? Yeah, yep, I am in a onesie. And that's fine. But anyways, today we are going to be checking on the ants that are hibernating. They've been hibernating for a couple of months now and I've checked on them a couple of times and fed them. I just didn't film them because I had other videos that I was able to make and I didn't want to fill this full of just updates on the hibernating ants. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> First off, we have a Formica Pacifica colony. Uh, it's one of my largest colonies and it's just connected to this little outworld here that I have. There's actually quite a few workers still. I was concerned that they might like die during the winter, but actually they have all kept good food stores and are healthy. This is my other Formica Pacifica colony. It is just in this little ant tower here. They have slightly less workers, but it's still one of my largest colonies that I have. This is actually one of the more experimental colonies that I have of ants, and I don't know if they're actually all alive in there because I can't quite see them, but there was that one dead ant at the top that got stuck in honey. Now we have the termites. They're actually still doing quite well, and actually there's a new adult. So now there's three different adults. Two of them are the egg-laying secondary queens, and one of them is just one of the eggs that they actually had. Now we have my Campanatus pensylvanicus. She's actually one of the many that I have, and she also happens to be the dirtiest. Her water store somehow got really dirty and she also just made a mess of the whole place. Now we have a Campanatus pensylvanicus queen that actually laid eggs right before hibernating. So she's got her little bundle of eggs there and her slow moving worker as they should be because they are hibernating. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time. 